Hi, this is Natalie Rystrom from Sportswalk Review, and you can join in our conversation on Twitter, hashtag SBR Natalie. Now, the draw was announced last Thursday, where we took a look at the early winners market. You can find the link to that video in the description below. But today, we're going to break down Group C and Group D uh, with betting pundit Lee Phelps from William Hill's In Play Radio to see if there's some good betting value worth placing a bet on. Lee, thanks for being here. No problem. Now, in Group D, in pot order, is Arsenal, Borussia Dortmund, Galatasaray and Anderlecht. Now, the odds couldn't be any closer between Arsenal and Dortmund to win the group. 2.3 for the Gunners and 2.3 for Dortmund. Now, is this a coin toss in your opinion or do you actually have a favourite in mind? Well, Dortmund have started the season fairly poorly. It's been a strange start to the season, really, because they beat Bayern Munich in the uh, in like the the the, uh, the German like Super Cup, and then they they've lost it. You know, since then haven't looked particularly great. I watched, you know, I watched the game against Bayer Leverkusen, and they were disappointing, really. Um, Arsenal started the season really well in that in the Community Shield here in in England, uh, and then kind of slipped away a little bit. Obviously, they've qualified for the Champions League, the, the winning games, but they don't look very good. Now Giroud's out long term, which is a major blow for them. We're hearing that um, Sahin is out for uh, Borussia Dortmund for uh, at least the first couple of games in the Champions League. So it is a coin toss. Um, I'd probably be just edging towards Arsenal yeah. at the moment, just because of their record of you know consistently getting out of the group. Natalie, they they just do it year in year out. They get into the Champions League every single year, and they find a way of getting out of the group. Now the problem for them has been finishing second in the group because they've really come up against very good sides in the round of 16 and been knocked out in the last few seasons. So I think Arsene Wenger will be hell-bent on getting them to the top of that group. And I just wonder if Borussia Dortmund's best days are already behind them. You know, it seems a, a bit of a slip away, doesn't it? I know they performed well against Bayern Munich, but I just wonder when if they've, if they've managed to retain enough quality players to... Uh, they sold too many, in my opinion. Still got great players, obviously, but... Yeah, just edging towards Arsenal here. All right. Now, any chance, though, of the upset, either Galatasaray winning price 11 or Anderlecht priced 41 uh, to win the Group D? No, I don't think to win. I mean, Galatasaray did very well last year, remember. They, you know, they got results against uh, Juventus. They beat Juventus and drew with them and were hammered by Real Madrid. But they got some good results. You know, they went out to Chelsea in the end, of course. But they're a good side. They've got goal scorers, um, you know, in the team. They've got a very solid uh, midfield as well. And obviously, going to... Uh, Turkey is always a difficult place to go. It's a bit of a cliche, but enough footballers say it is a difficult place to go, so it has to be true. They may be, if Borussia Dortmund or Arsenal slip up anywhere, then they maybe could grab that second spot. Can't see them winning the group, though. Yeah. Um, Anderlecht, no chance. You know, I mean, Anderlecht have got no real pedigree in recent years in the Champions League. I, I think they are the whipping boys of this group. I wouldn't give them a, a prayer of, of qualifying. But look, I think it'll be Arsenal and Borussia Dortmund, but. It'd be interesting. I think Galatasaray will be the ones that upset the form book a couple of times during the group. You know, Galatasaray at home, if Borussia Dortmund or Arsenal are just out of form or they've got a few injuries, might be worth having a look at Galatasaray to win the home games. Yeah, yeah. Well, so Arsenal and Dortmund, they're priced at 1.3 to qualify. Now, sometimes, obviously, when you've got two close favourites, one can cancel each other out and then obviously give way to, say, uh, Galatasaray. So, would you say bet or even bet big on Arsenal to qualify priced at 1.3? Or then would you even look at, say, placing a bet on Galatasaray to qualify? Or would you still go with Dortmund for your money? Yeah. It'd probably be a saver. What I'd probably do, Natalie, is play the is play the, the, the straight forecast. I'd probably play Arsenal and Borussia Dortmund in the straight forecast. So mm -hmm. Arsenal to win the group, Borussia second. Yeah. But then I would have a little saver on Galatasaray just in case. Because I think it's a big enough price that you can just have a little bit of a saver on them just to qualify in, from the group. Because as you say, with those two hogging all the all the, uh, the the market at the top end of it, I think um, I think Galatasaray got a, got an outside chance. After all, they they've qualified out of the group the last two Champions Leagues they've been involved in. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the straight forecast bet there, Arsenal uh, and Dortmund, uh, that's priced at 2.62. Uh, but what would you say is the top tip for betting this group? Yeah, that would be it. Uh, Arsenal again, and Borussia Dortmund in the straight forecast for me. All right, wonderful. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us. Thank you.